Hello and welcome to this video on how to use reverse psychology in dating. In the dating world, we all want to be wanted, and we often go to great lengths to make that happen. Sometimes, however, we can benefit from a little bit of reverse psychology. This technique can be used to create attraction, increase interest, and ultimately help us get what we want in the dating game. So, let's dive in and explore the power of reverse psychology in dating. Before we get started, let's take a moment to define what reverse psychology is. At its core, reverse psychology is a psychological trick that involves getting someone to do what you want by suggesting the opposite of what you actually want them to do. In other words, you use reverse psychology to influence someone's behavior by telling them to do the opposite of what you really want them to do. This may sound counterintuitive, but it can be an incredibly effective way to get what you want in many situations, including dating. 1. Understanding the basics of reverse psychology. The first step in using reverse psychology in dating is to understand the basics of how it works. Essentially, reverse psychology involves telling someone to do the opposite of what you really want them to do, in order to get them to do what you actually want. This can be done in a variety of ways, such as making a sarcastic comment, pretending to be disinterested, or even teasing them about something. By suggesting the opposite of what you actually want, you create a sense of tension and intrigue that can be very attractive to your potential partner. 2. Why Reverse Psychology Works But why does reverse psychology work? There are several reasons why this technique can be so effective in dating. First, it creates a sense of challenge and intrigue, which can be very attractive to someone who is used to being pursued. Second, it can help to build anticipation and desire, as your partner begins to wonder why you're acting in such a seemingly contradictory way. Finally, reverse psychology can help you avoid coming across as needy or desperate, which can be a major turnoff in the dating world. 3. How to use reverse psychology in different dating situations now that you understand the basics of reverse psychology and why it works, let's take a look at some specific ways you can use this technique in different dating situations. For example, if you're trying to get someone to ask you out, you could use reverse psychology by telling them that you're not interested in dating anyone right now. This may pique their interest and make them more likely to pursue you. Similarly, if you're trying to get your partner to commit to a relationship, you could use reverse psychology by suggesting that you're not looking for anything serious right now. This may make them more likely to want to lock you down. 4. The importance of communication. Of course, it's important to remember that reverse psychology should always be used with caution. While it can be a powerful tool in the dating world, it can also be manipulative and can backfire if not used correctly. It's important to communicate openly and honestly with your partner and to avoid using reverse psychology to try to control their behavior. Instead, use it as a playful and fun way to create attraction and increase interest, but always be honest about your intentions and desires. 5. Other Psychological Tricks to Try Reverse psychology is just one of many psychological tricks that can be used in the dating world. Some other tricks you might want to consider include mirroring, where you mimic your partner's body language to create a sense of connection, and the scarcity principle, where you make yourself seem more valuable by making yourself less available. These tricks can be effective when used correctly, but it's important to remember that they should never be used to manipulate or deceive your partner. So, there you have it, a brief overview of how to use reverse psychology in dating. Remember, reverse psychology can be a powerful tool when used correctly, but it should always be used with caution and in moderation. Communication, honesty, and respect should always be at the forefront of any healthy relationship, and using psychological tricks should never be a substitute for genuine connection and mutual respect. Thanks for watching.